Let's jump right into it and get things started with Ars Technica. This website's been around since 1998 and is still one of the top sites I visit for reliable tech news. In addition to covering the news for the average consumer, you'll find insightful articles, editorials, and analysis for technology enthusiasts and IT professionals covering a wide range of topics, including security and privacy, and business news regarding technology companies. If you want to interact with other readers, the Ars Technica forums are a great place to discuss hardware and software, operating systems, and a slew of other topics. If you're looking to upgrade or build your own PC, User Benchmark is a great site to visit that will help you decide on which hardware might work best for you for your current situation. They compute and analyze user-submitted benchmarks in several categories, including GPU and CPU, memory, and you can even check the results for solid state and hard disk drives. For example, if you select GPU, you can sort by user rating, value, average benchmark, market share, along with the age and price of that component. If you want to analyze the hardware on your computer and compare the results with others, you can download their speed test tool for free directly from their site. When building your own computer, PC Part Picker is a valuable resource. It provides guidance regarding the compatibility of parts and up-to-date pricing from dozens of online retailers. To begin, here at the top, select System Builder. You'll want to begin by selecting a CPU. On the left, make sure that compatibility filter has a check mark next to it. On this page, I'll select the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 here at the top. Now when you go to select other components, it will now only show you the parts compatible with the ones you selected. On PC Part Picker, build guides are also offered if you're looking for some inspiration. For additional ideas, you can also check out their forums, which is also a great place to get feedback from others regarding your parts list. This will be a quick one. How To Geek is a fantastic resource with comprehensive articles and tutorials that don't require a computer science degree to understand. While they do offer guides on various topics, their tutorials for Linux have been extremely useful for me personally over the past few years. iFixit is a website I've mentioned in a prior video on this channel, but deserves mention again in case you missed that earlier video. In short, they sell replacement parts and high-quality tools to repair or upgrade your phone, computer, or any other popular gadget. Their awesome step-by-step -step repair guides are created by community members or iFixit with several categories to choose from. If you're a do-it-yourself type of person, you'll find many of the repairs or upgrades are quite simple, which could end up saving you money. If you're a programmer, Planet Source Code is a favorite for many developers to find free samples of code online. Navigating the site is easy. Choose your language. I'll go with Java. From here, move your cursor over code forward slash articles, and your choices are newest, browse categories, and search. I prefer browse categories. For fun this time, I'll choose games. If you scroll down, you can also filter the code type and difficulty level. When you're done, click on OK. In this category, you have 42 results to choose from that might be able to help you out with your project. Speaking of coding, here's one that most of you are probably familiar with, but I'll mention it briefly. GitHub is one of the world's largest hosting sites for developers to help manage projects and store their code. When working in teams, it also helps in keeping your projects more organized. When starting out after you have signed up, I highly recommend reading the guide to learn more about the version control system known as Git, and it will also teach you how to use GitHub. For most people, the free plan will be all that they need. Their other plans, starting at $7 per month, offer additional features with more tools intended for project management. Tom's Hardware is another site that's been around for more than a couple decades. They provide news, reviews, and price comparisons of computer hardware. Their comprehensive buyer's guides are very useful when building or upgrading a PC with tips and advice to help ensure that you're getting the best hardware for your computer. They also have one of the best forums with an active community of more than 2.5 million members where you can discuss the latest in computer hardware, networking, and software. If you're looking for do-it-yourself projects, Instructables includes more than 100,000 tutorials with step-by-step -step instructions in various categories, including technology. 
With so many projects to choose from, you're bound to find one that suits your interests on this side. There's even this bizarre project for pet owners where you can create your very own Twitter controlled pet feeder. Throughout the year, there are tons of contests where users can share their creations and win prizes. And if you want to learn a new skill, classes are also offered on the site with lessons available in several categories. If you're a hacker and would like to keep yourself out of jail, HackerOne is a website you should check out. They offer a bug bounty platform that connects the world's top companies with penetration testers and cybersecurity researchers to help make the internet a safer place. HackerOne even offers a free class for web security called Hacker 101 that will teach you the skills to become an effective bug bounty hunter. As of right now, there are six ethical hackers earning seven figures reporting bugs to HackerOne. So if you want to put your skills to the test, reporting bugs as part of a bug bounty program can be very lucrative. Thanks for watching. You can find the sites mentioned in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. Let us know your favorite tech websites in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell to stay up to date with the most useful websites and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.